Welcome to the Palm Crit Minute on Fluid Boluses. In order to benefit from a fluid bolus, a sequence of conditions must be met. Let's walk through them. Fluid responsiveness is defined as an increase in cardiac output. About half of critically ill patients will be fluid responsive. However, oxygen delivery is more important than cardiac output. Fluid may increase the cardiac output while causing hemodilution, which decreases the hemoglobin. This won't improve the DO2. So only some of patients who are fluid responsive will also be DO2 responsive. Not all of the oxygen delivered to the body will actually be used. Sick patients may be unable to use extra oxygen because of microvascular or mitochondrial dysfunction. Therefore, only some of the patients who are DO2 responsive will also be VO2 responsive. Finally, even if there is increased oxygen utilization, fluid boluses may damage the vascular endothelium. Many studies show that hemodynamic improvement following a fluid bolus only lasts for a few hours. Overall, fluid boluses will rarely cause sustained clinical benefit. Thanks for listening. For more, check out the MCRID site.